A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. Hmm, I can see I have your attention. Good. We have a lot to discuss. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I understand. You think I work for you? You're not working for me. We're working together. After all, we both want the same thing. Am I right? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. You got what you came for. 
You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Or keep running your mouth and maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here, now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right, I'll make it one more round. We got company! <laughs> Who are you? A nightmare. Much like yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. <laughs> I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? You got Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. <laughs> you will pay for that. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Pain you're feeling, but...
There is nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll do the bad way by the guys. Safe travels, my friends. you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ. Come on! The mechanic. Where is he? didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Ugh. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. Well, you better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Be sure to loop in Waller. She can help you. I already did. Didn't have a choice. Now that Waller's my superior, I have to loop her into everything. Uh, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. We're men of principle, who still believe in the letter of the law. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. Doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. 
Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. Hold on to that anger. You'll need it. Avesta says anger can be productive if you put it to good use. She's right. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Mm -hmm. 
Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. Waller might have been right. Some problems might be better solved by Bruce Wayne. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be... Dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. My father was one of the best known criminals in Gotham. It should be easy enough to pretend I'm following in his footsteps. I suppose it could work. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Billy, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels. No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of. Sh oh. <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh. Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. Besides the whole dead parents thing. 
Bruce! Oh, <laughs> uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottle's under my chair, Willie. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? Hated the guy, but geez, Bruce, you really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking, but hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> and, and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. But you've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. And I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. Your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? The bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way. 
Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You. Uh, Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's, it's an odd feeling. At first, I... I thought I had some kind of disease, but, uh, no, I, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but, uh, if you could... Please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I, I promise. Really. It, it, it works. It, it's just a matter of trial and error. Come on, you son of a... There we go. around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about... Money, power, and influence. They bore you too. No. Those are fun. I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure, I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Wooden here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. <laughs> excitement? The man who's got everything's looking for some new toys? Well, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega. And get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. 
So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Stop! What were you guys talking about? Here, you Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mmm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me, I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the Phalanx Key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's voice. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do what Whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce.
Ah, uh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Is everything okay? Well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. Oh! really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey! <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We are gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. So, oh. well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> <laughs> your friends don't suit you, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Anytime, anywhere. Just say the word. Oh boy. It is getting hot in no, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Pud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Do you like 
chess. Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those Batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Of oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. Getting there. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. A single usable print. Hmm. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Nope. Not encouraging. Get 
that door open post haste. You're sure taking your sweet time. Trying to stick to a schedule. There we go. Okay, this will work. Touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This. This is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? You gotta believe me, Tiffany. This is not what it looks like. Oh, really? A man who hates guns doesn't produce them in secret. I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. You're in much deeper than I thought. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. You need to get physical. I get it. Be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley. But I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. It's a little too late for that. Oh, well. Ah! Ah! Tiffany!
Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey Boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kinda like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? We grew up together. You could say she's family. You know family of mine. Oof, gross. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think you're old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Now you want to be part of the family, don't ya? I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. Not bad. Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. Go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like? She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. <sighs> with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, It'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, uh, I suppose I will. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade... With John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting.
Well, be careful and good luck. Been a busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin, fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> For the world's greatest detective, you sure can be slow. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. 
and we'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway, home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. John, a little help here? A real man would not need help. He would help himself. Look, it's not like that. He knows I'm his pal. Why wouldn't I help him? It's cause we're pals. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Whoopsie. What the hell? John! Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop! Or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell.
least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, freeze. <laughs> well, you saw freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. A job? Sounds intriguing. What's the target? I like you, Brucie, but I never give up all my secrets on a first date. It's need to know, and you don't need to know. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. 
Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. This just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Hey, my mistake. I didn't know it would upset you. Who says I'm upset? If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. I have connections, Harley. Good ones. I dig up everything I can on potential business partners. A background check? I guess that's only fair. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just... don't bring it up again. Spirit of unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. sort through all this. Not with them watching me. I heard about your wife, and I... <laughs> Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing? That kind of love is rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You were more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better.
I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch Wayne. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office uh, making me look good. Actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help too. You didn't catch it? When it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was intentional? <laughs> John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. Then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. She really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face! How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham.
just thought you looked thirsty. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. It did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Fade! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away, and yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. Fine. I'll prove it. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. He in? Or out? The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys, and... Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, I vote for Brucey. So we got a tie here. However, without Bruce... We can't use the EMP. True. Bruce is in. By a hair. You're hanging in there by a thread, Brucey boy. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hide!
Get close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh -huh. What? No. You no, are no. providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. Right. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track no, this signal. Worry. We'll Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Wait. What in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead. Both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wayne! Do it! What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? Oh my gun, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! is on the perimeter. Keep one. Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off! Or I'll shoot. No! 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 Don't. Break it all! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Ben, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Sweet. 
Aldhar and give me a hand with the luggage. Work back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, you'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slip. He's probably having a ball, cracking skulls. He knew the risks. Bane shouldn't have put himself in that situation. It's his, it's his fault. fault. He's in a pickle. In a pickle. Be careful. You might wind up in a similar situation one day. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Want to know what's inside? Go on. Open it. Whew! I thought he stank when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. For the right price. 